Hi everyone, thank you for joining us um, for the post-event wrap-up webinar. We're going to get started in a minute. I'm going to let a few more people continue to join. Um, if you can let me know in the chat what organization you're with today and we'll get started shortly. Wonderful. Thanks, everyone. Um, so we're going to get started. So thank you for joining us for the post-event wrap-up webinar for this year's Give 828. Um, we're very excited that you all uh, got through this event. It was really fun. It was a multi-day event this year. Um, so we have a bunch of stuff to cover today on the agenda, just kind of getting uh, through like post-event wrap-up. We'll talk about how to access your donor reports, disbursement reports, um, all that good stuff. Um, just for your information, we are uh, recording this webinar and I will add it to the Give 828 toolkit so you can look back at it um, and also the slides as well. Um, we are, uh, I don't know if I said my name is Sarah and I am a project manager with Mighty Cause and Give 828. Um, we also have, I believe, Nema joining us today. Um, so I am going to pass it over to Nema so she can say hello to you all. Um, and then I'll pass it over. Hey everyone, I'm Nema from the Young Black and Giving Back Institute. I'm a program consultant um, and I've been working with um, Give Aid to Aid campaign now for three years. Super excited about the results this year. Um, we just, we we're blown away with um, just everybody's the engagement, the participation and how much we were able to raise. So I'm um, excited to be here and to hear um, everyone's feedback. Wonderful. Um, so a quick look at our agenda. We're going to review um, ideas on how to follow up with your donors post giving events. We'll talk about how you can find and use your donor reports. Um, we'll discuss the disbursements for prizes. Uh, we're also going to share how you continue, can continue getting the most out of the Give 28 platform, even outside of the event dates. Um, what's available to you in your organization page. And then, of course, if you have any questions, you can feel free to just type them into our Q&A button on your uh, screen. So we will get started. All right, so uh, with Give 28 complete, it's time to really start to consider your follow-up post-event if you have not even uh, started already. Um, you're going to want to definitely go beyond the platform tools and the automated thank yous that we send out on the donation page after a donor completes uh, their donation. So if you haven't already, you'll want to plan the thank yous, anything like personal, such as making a video or sharing a photo of your staff can really go a long way uh, with making your thank you a bit more personal. Um, and then when thanking donors and continuing your communication with donors, you'll also want to make sure you talk about the impact of the funds that you raised from this year's event and really help kind of close the loop on the campaign. So basically that means Say you are fundraising for something specific, um, you'll want to kind of address that with your donors, let them know where you stand, did you meet your goals, um, did they help you come really close to making your goals and you're super excited, um, and just really kind of helping connect with them so that they want to continue being a part of your organization, continue helping you grow um, and achieve your mission. Um, if you have new donors who gave during the event, you'll also want to make sure that you have an onboarding plan in place for your new donors so that they can continue to come back to donate again. So a lot of this comes back to really making a kind of a personal connection with your donors, making them feel seen um, and helping them feel like they can continue to contribute and help you achieve the goals that you set. Uh, you could consider mailing them a welcome packet as a fun way to kind of get them onboarded. Maybe you have some volunteers who can help kind of create like thank you cards. Uh, you can send those out. Uh, postcards, snail mail is really fun for people to receive. 
Uh, you can also create an automated email journey. So depending on which kind of email service you use, you can set up a journey where you can add emails um, and kind of get them on board. And maybe you get a welcome email and then in another month you give uh, like how you can continue to support our organization just so you continue to stay on the radar of these donors. Um, thinking and appreciating your donors is definitely essential to donor retention. Um, in the long run, it's going to cost less for you to retain your existing donors, the donors that you've acquired. Uh, then, I mean, I, you all know how hard it is to kind of continue to try to grow your donor base. A lot of work and effort goes into them. So by spending time, money, effort, just really trying to thank and appreciate each donor that you have is going to be well spent. So donors, of course, that feel appreciated and valued on an ongoing basis, not just once a year when they donate, are likely to stick with your organization even longer and just provide you support for years to come. Um, you'll also want to take some time now that the event has ended and meet with your team, meet with your board, really assess this year's campaign. Um, how did your organization do? What did you find successful? Um, if you have previously participated, did you do anything different this year? What would you change for next year? Did you reach your goal? Did you come close to meeting your goals? Um, if you didn't reach your goal, kind of assess that. Did you put your goal too high? Was it not attainable? Um, really thinking about how you can adjust based on what you've learned this year for next year's campaign. Um, and then do you need to reach out earlier to donors is a question you might want to ask yourself. Do you need a stronger social media or email campaign next year? Uh, since everything is still pretty fresh after this year's event, you're going to want to take the time to meet, plan, uh, decide what you want to do for next year. Now is also a great time to set goals for next year's campaign just because all the knowledge and the analytics you have after this year's event are still very fresh for you. Um, for reports and disbursements, so within your organization profile, um, you can view your donation report uh, from this year, as well as the disbursements that are being sent out. Um, you can download a detailed donation report and a CSV at any time through your organization profile. Um, you're definitely going to want to download this report because that's where you'll find all of your donor information, um, email addresses, uh, addresses, home addresses, so you can send um, like thank you notes. Um, so you can find all this info within reports, all donations on your page. And then from this section, you can filter by the actual giving event date itself. So give 8 28 2022 to pull data. So if you've previously participated, you can also, uh, I'm sure you've probably already downloaded last year's data, but you can also pull that data and kind of compare um, and see how you've done different areas for improvement. Maybe you excelled in some area and you can kind of explain how you did better than last year, potentially in a newsletter, something like that. Um, you can also select custom timeframes, like I said. So if you're continuing to use the Give 828 your organization page year round, you can also select different dates um, whenever you need them. You'll also want to start to organize your donor information into um, whatever kind of client management platform you use. So you're going to want to sort and use your data just so you can continue using this uh, to build momentum for your organization even outside the event. So you'll want to add donor email addresses, um, regular addresses. You'll want to tag your donors from this year so that you can easily pull them up um, later. Of course, you also just continue to have access to your organization page, so you can always download this data, but since it's still fresh, it's a good idea to try to kind of tie up loose ends, organize your information, and get everything settled um, post-event. Um, and then regarding disbursements, I wanted to add here, so for the donations that were received during the event dates, the money is going to be dispersed around September 10th, so you should have already seen that. Um, in general, our electronic dispersals are going to happen twice a month on a consistent schedule of around the 10th and the 25th of each month. Um, but if you're not set up with EFT and instead you're set up with a check, those are only going to be dispersed once a month on the 10th of every month around that date. Um, so you can expect a uh, check mailed to your legal mailing address listed in your organization profile. Um, you can see your legal address that you have on file within your settings organization profile. Um, if you do need to update anything, you can reach out to our Mighty Cause support team at support at mightycause.com. Uh, and then, of course, everyone wants to know when prize funds will be dispersed. So those will be dispersed to you 
uh, by YBGB on around October 1st. And then if you were a recipient of any matching grant funds during the Give 828 NYX 10K matching grant, um, those will be dispersed separately by Mighty Cause around September 25th. So kind of key information to help you continue the momentum. Um, just so that you know, this year's event, of course, has ended, but the Give 828 platform and Mighty Cause is available to you and your organization on a year-round basis. So just because the event has ended, you don't need to you know, download all your reports and sign off. This is a, a really wonderful tool. It's available to you year-round. Um, all these resources, all of our support articles, all of that information you can still access. Um, I've listed here pretty much everything that you're going to continue to have access to within your organization profile. Um, and now is a good time to take extra time to kind of dive deeper into any of these tools and features that you might have not had the time to kind of look at uh, while you were kind of in the rush of the campaign. Um, and also a good idea if you um, have time, if you feel like you could benefit from someone at Mighty Cause helping show you around, show you some tips and tricks, you can always schedule a demo with one of our teammates. Um, they would love to show you around, show you all the tools, um, and then talk to you, of course, about if there's any specific integrations. If you use a different kind of platform or you fundraise separately somewhere else, um, you, we can talk to you about how you can kind of get connected and get, use Mighty Cause as a tool, uh, either in tandem with what you do use or switching over and, you know, continue to just have Give828 be like your go-to platform. Um, if you are looking for more features, we do offer advanced features. Um, this is kind of what that looks like. If you have volunteer or opportunities that you would like to add to your profile, so it's kind of a one-stop shop. People can go, they can donate, they can see what other kind of volunteer uh, opportunities are coming up. That's part of our advanced plan. If you need any integrations, if you use Salesforce, if you need anything like that, um, you can talk to us and we can help get you uh, familiarized with all of these cool tools and set up. Uh, we also, also offer free advanced trials. So if that's something that you wanna try first, you can reach out to Mighty Cause support team um, and we can get you set up for that as well. Um, let's see, I wanted to also mention we have a feedback survey on the Give 828 site. Uh, we have a few questions. It's not very long. We would love to hear your feedback. If you uh, had a good campaign this year, if there's anything that worked, if there's anything that you saw that we did differently this year that you really liked. Um, we send out a lot of a couple different emails to you all, which I'm sure you received. If there was anything that you saw that you were like, oh, I would have loved to get more information on this or more information on how matching grants works, um, we would appreciate that feedback because then we can kind of tailor those messaging and communications to you um, to make sure that they're serving what your needs are next year. So you just go to the Give828 site and you can click feedback and then send those over to us. Um, and of course, if there's anything that stood out that was confusing or complicated or that you wish you could have done differently, you can also let us know that as well. Um, and then, of course, uh, we have support available to you year round. Um, if there's anything additional that you need, any features, any tools that you'd like to see, we'd just love connecting with you all um, and hearing your feedback. And of course, if you want a demo, uh, if you are interested in continuing to use the platform, it, it works for you. We can always talk more about that as well. Uh, I'm going to pass it back to you, Nama, if you would like to discuss anything. No, just I encourage um, anybody who hasn't filled out the feedback survey to uh, definitely uh, take it all. Um, comments into account. Last year, we had some really great feedback that we were able to implement this year. So um, please, if you haven't filled it out. Yeah. Um, go ahead and... Um, and then I do see a question came in. Are we able to turn off donations on the Medicubs platform? Um, you can turn off your discoverability. So if you go into your account settings um, on your organization page, you can toggle off your discoverability. So that essentially turns off your donations. No one is able to find your page if you no longer want to be on it. Um, and of course, if you need help, our support team can get that uh, sorted out for you. Um, but thank you everyone for attending uh, the post webinar. If you have questions, this is one of our shorter webinars. 
Um, and congratulations on an awesome event this year. All right, bye everyone. There's one question. Oh, there is? Is there another one? Are there opportunities to apply for grants? Uh, you may want to answer that one, Nama. Yes, so uh, there will be opportunities to apply for grants um, with the YVGV, and we'll send an email with more information about that when it's um, when it's time to apply. And then I missed the first six minutes. When will we receive the match? Um, so the match is going to be dispersed around September 25th. So you should see that uh, hit your organization around September 25th. Uh, if you have EFT, if you don't have EFT, then it'll hit in the check in the following month, October 10th. Alrighty, I think that's everything. If you, anyone else has questions, uh, let us know. And if you want to access today's webinar, it'll be added under the toolkit. I see a question in there. Um, I'll, I will download it and upload it as a video in the toolkit. Alrighty, thank you everyone. Have a good rest of your day.